What is the dream that you have that you want to be? My forever husband, I call him Jim. He's my love. I love him so much. Um, but he has helped me understand who I am in Christ. And so that lie that I had when a little girl, I wasn't lovable enough, I wasn't likable enough, um, came right back at me. And then when I met Jim, he, could, he would tell me, you're beautiful. And I said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I couldn't hear him because my heart was closed. And then I started to work with psychologists, and they said that the way you can open your heart is by being conscious of it to say you have to open your heart. Through that journey, I took everything that I learned and I placed it on my wrist <laughs> in a bracelet that's got five charms on it. And one of the charms says, I am valuable, a magnificent masterpiece, beautiful, made by God. Amen. And the back of the charm says, the Lord looks at the heart, and then body and soul, I am marvelously made. But I didn't understand truly that until I went through healing and growth. And I started to get into the scriptures and I started to say, Jesus, what do you say about me? Who am I in you? Why am I beautiful in you? And he started to show me scripture after scripture after scripture after scripture. And then I started to say, well, how do I transform my mind? And I'm an actress. And so I took the study that I learned in acting school of taking an idea and creating an imaginative exercise with it and then living truthfully under that imaginative circumstance to come to reality. Mm -hmm. And I said, whoa, and I did it. And I started to get transformed, healing by healing by healing by healing. What we think on comes across our face. Yes. Amen. Meditating on these scriptures and the camera was tap capturing these photos and as they were capturing these photos, they were going back going, whoa, 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 and I'm like, what the heck are they talking about? I'm just meditating on scripture. What was happening is the truths of the scripture were coming across the continents of the face. Mm -hmm. So when you think of I'm strong and courageous, the Lord goes before me and behind me, the strength of God's courage was coming across my face. Then, when I was focusing on Jesus as my Lord, my Savior, the love, how wide, how great, how deep, how long is your love for me, I was experiencing the peace that surpassed understanding, and I was meditating on those scriptures, and the peace of the Lord was coming across my face. You become one of the most radiant attributes, but that warm joy doesn't just come from nowhere. For me, that joy comes and I pray and I read the Bible and I say, Lord, show me who have you made me to be? And I wasn't always a Christian. I grew up in a Catholic family, but it wasn't until my senior year of high school did I go to this big, big conference. And it was at that conference that they said, we want to introduce you to Jesus. And I'm like, what is, I know what Jesus is, but why? And they said, he wants to be your friend. All of the uncomfortability and the pain that you feel and you struggle with, he wants to love you. And I found myself weeping. And I felt I had so much baggage, so many bad things that I did. I was a very rebellious kid, so much garbage. And I felt myself, and I felt all of a sudden after this time of just feeling this love from Christ, this overwhelming of peace, and this overwhelming of joy. And this overwhelming came over me, and I remember looking at this one lady who brought me there, and I said, I don't understand this feeling. She said, Jen, this is what Jesus is. He's your friend. First, compare myself to other people in the room, thinking, am I good enough to be here? Um, and then Thank you. 